YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise the Barber. And in this video, yes, y'all, we have made it at the end of the year. So of course we had to do this the right way. And we're going to talk about the best trimmer of the year of 2023. So let me go ahead and give you guys my top 10. And we're going to talk about who is number one. CTB, you know who it is. Before we get into this, I want you guys to understand that the categories that I have used that I think that really helps us grade what trimmer is the best trimmer of the year. I have a few categories and to be honest, there is a lot of them, but I had to do it this way and you guys will see a chart, you know, see all these things, but this is how I had to do it. So we went with price, power, battery life, packaging, the noise, the design, the blades and the performance. And I wanna let you guys know when it comes to the packaging, how I rated the packaging, the packaging wasn't rated to a one through five. So I want you all to understand that the packaging number three is at its best. I know that's a lot. The only way I was able to do this was to have these categories in. You'll see a sum of a total number out of all these categories on what is the best trimmer to buy. And then I also have my list. I'll show you guys that at the end, my list will be something that how I just, how I rated them just by myself other than just by the points. My list mainly means these are the ones I'm going to grab from one through 10. So let's get into this video and let's talk about my top 10. Don't want to wait any longer. We don't need to do that anymore. Let's get into this. So the top 10 trimmers are you have the FX1 trimmer. You have the low pro FX1 trimmer. You have the wall high vis trimmer. You have the cyborg trimmer. You also have the saber trimmer, the instinct trimmer, TPOB trimmer, the Coco hyper veloc trimmer, the four mass trimmer and the boost plus trimmer. Now there's going to be a lot of honorable mentions like the flex, the rebel, the snap effects. Now there are some that I could have added in, but I did just wanted to keep it with 10 because there are a lot of trimmers out nowadays, but I want to do a top 10 because I think it's very important for us to understand that you can have any trimmer that you really want and it could be your number one. Like I said, to me, these are the ones that I feel are the most effective that can be in on your station. So let's get into this and I'm gonna start with number 10. I wonder if y'all are curious what number 10 is. So anyway, so let's get into this. I'm gonna start with number 10. I don't want this video to be too long. So let's get right into this. So in 10th place, we have the Coco Velocity Trimmer. And the reason why I have this at the bottom, heard some great things about it, but it didn't seem to stand out that much that it's beating anything. Anything about the Coco is the blades. I know the blades is like the best thing about them. And for it to have the battery life where it's at this is why it's at the bottom of the map the runtime and the battery life the price all those things it kind of messed it up so let me let me just tell you guys how i scored this and i rated this one through five just to let you know when it came to the price so for the price i had it at a rating at three and for the power i had it rating at three and for the battery life i had it rating at two and then when it came to packaging i had it at three the design i had it at two the blades i had it at four because they are some great blades and performance i had it at four so even though it performs well with everything that it comes with i have a total amount at 25 points so that's why this is at number 10 okay let's get into number nine and nine even though this is rated out in this way on my list it might be somewhere different but for nine i have the high vis trimmer from wall and how i have this set up this thing is a power horse i do like it the price i give it at a three it's a little it's on a pricier end definitely think they could have came down with that but the power i definitely gave that a five definitely has great power 135 minutes of a run time i got that at a three when it comes to packaging i gave that at a three it doesn't seem that as much that you get other than the fact that it's cool that you do get a dock you know like extra lids or anything like that but i gave it a three i just gave it like mid-range when it comes to design i gave that a three some people cannot stand its design but me i like it but i can't say it's the best design i have ever seen but it's not that bad so i put it right in the middle and gave it a three the blade i definitely gave a four definitely like this blade even though it's a little bit different it works so well and it's honestly one of my best hitters performance i gave it a three i gave it midway because when it comes to balding out it does not seem to be the best balding out type of clip I mean type of trimmer especially with that blade and it's, it's a real thin blade so that could be a thing you know that could be the reason and the noise I had it at a three it's not too loud um it's not that quiet so just gave it into the middle so that gives us at 27 points this is what you get at the 
number ninth, okay? And then right above that, it's not that much of a difference from the Coco, a little bit because it gives you a four hour runtime. Now, this is the things that Coco was missing out. And I believe uh, 90 minute charge time, the, the TPOB X trimmer, I have that at number eight. And the reason why I have it at number eight is because the X trimmer, not the XO, it came with the old design. So the design part really was not, you know, the best for me. So when it comes to the TPOB, the price is a number five. A lot of people like the fact that it is a real affordable brand. I got it at a number five. When it comes to power, I have it at a number five. And when it comes to battery life, I got it at number three. The packaging, a three. The design, I have it at one. And the only reason why, because this metal body, I mean, it has that hook, that metal hook. And honestly, I think it's outdated. They do have an updated version, but it did not make the list. I have the blade at a number four. The Exo blade is, uh, well, the Psycho blade is a really good blade. Performance is, is at a five and the noise is at a four, which is not that loud. So it does perform great. There is a market out there for that brand. So for me, I have it at number eight. Let's get into number seven. And number seven, I have the four mass Keon trimmer, the second edition. And the reason why I have it, the price is not that bad. It's under 150. So I have it rating at a number four. The power is at a number four. This trimmer is one of the best balding out trimmers I have had. How the blades are set up, they're set just the right way. The battery life at a five the packaging i will say it's at a two you don't get the most or the best type of packaging with it i wish there were a little bit more things that would have came with it but you know it's okay that it comes with a, a trimmer that performs well the design i gave it at a number two ergonomically without the rubber grip i do like it it does have a rubber coating on it however sometimes the design can just feel a little bit funny in your hand without that grip on it that's what i like about that when it comes to the blades like i just told y'all it comes completely zero gap it works well it performs well i gave it at a number four the performance is at a five it does everything all my other trimmers can do and the sound and the noise of it i gave it at a four because it is very very quiet one of the quietest trimmers that i have but i do have it placed at number seven so let's go to number six and number six now we're getting into you know it's up for grabs from here right how i'll have this is the boost plus fx trimmers they are a little bit outdated but they are still a great trimmer to have four hour runtime it has seven I believe it's 7,200 RPMs. The rubber grip does everything for me. The sound of it is not, you know, it's not that noisy. So how I have this rated, and I'll just tell you guys for real, I have the price at a number four. It's not that bad right now, especially if you look at a lot of barber supply stores, you can get the Boost FX trimmers for a good price. The power is at a five. The battery life is at a five. The packaging is not much. You can get this at, in a combo set with the charging dock, but alone, it does not come with the charging dock. So I have that at a two. The design I have at three. The blade I have at a four, Graphite 2.0, or any DLC 2.0, even it, even if it is a generic one i still think that that's a a good blade to have it's just a good all-around blade but it's not like the gold fx the blue fx or graphite 2.0 performance i gave it a four nothing wrong with it at all it performs very very well at the noise level i have it at a three it's not too loud not not too quiet it's just right at number three you keep this trimmer oiled up you'll be good to go let's get into the top five now like i said this is going to get interesting this is where people are probably going to come into the comment section like bro what are you talking about are you serious but yeah i'm serious to how i evaluated it you you guys see the categories so i'm just giving it to you the way that how i rated it number five for me i have to say this and i know they just came out but the low pro fx1 trimmer is my number five pick and this is how i rated it i have the price at four not that bad of a price the power is at a five i had the battery life at a four especially with the fx1 batteries lasting up to two and a half to three hours i have the packaging at a three i have the design at a three and the only reason why i have this design at a three is because the gold fx comes with the hanging hook the low pro does not so just a small little things that the gold fx comes with that the low pro doesn't i had to rate them just a little bit different that's how i did that when it comes to the blade i did give it a three i know you guys are going to probably say what are you crazy yes the blue fx blade is a great blade don't get me wrong but it is one of those calmer blades to make this really hit you might need to modify the blade or zero gap 
adapt it very very well but it can do everything that every other trimmer blade can do from babeless but for me i just gave it just like on the average i didn't want to give it too crazy it literally just came out but i still have the graphite 2.0 and the original gold fx blade above that one so that's why i gave that a three but when it comes to performance i definitely gave it a five definitely works well nothing wrong with it the noise i gave it at a three that's mid-range not too loud not too quiet it's just a great trimmer definitely in the top five on anybody's list i believe that's number five for me so let's go to number four and i have not even brought this brand up at all so this is going to be interesting number four is the instinct trimmer the instinct trimmers is a workhorse 10,000 rpms we all know that this small gadget of a thing can cut through some hair let's get down to how i rated it when it comes to the price i do have it at a four the power i definitely have at a five the battery life i have at a five the packaging i have at a three the design is at a number three some people don't like how small it is how the design looks some people just don't like it and that's okay for me it fits well on my hand i like the groove in the back and i like how it looks like an evicticus watch i think that was definitely dope i gave it a three the blade easily a number four any blade especially if it's the one blade on the instinct trimmer is definitely a great blade the performance number five like i said it does anything and everything nice and sharp it doesn't bite or irritate that's what i have for that and the noise i have it at a two because we know it's one of the loudest trimmers out right now that's how i rated that when it came to the instinct trimmers these are number four but let's get to number three back to back with stylecraft i have to go with the saber trimmer yes it is at number three last year i had it at number one this year i have it at number three so two and one is definitely going to be interesting so let me just tell y'all how i rated this so i have the sabers the price at a three i have the power at a five the battery life at a five i have the packaging at a three like i said that is at its highest point the design i have at a two a lot of people don't like how light it feels they feel like they say it feels like a toy or whatever it doesn't have like any strong grooves or where your fingerprints or just how your fingers can like just lay and sit in however i do like the the lightness of them and how they feel in my hand i gave it a number two though the one blade from stylecraft is easy a four definitely like that blade and the performance definitely gave it a five it's one of the quietest trimmers it hits all the time nothing wrong with this trimmer it can ball it out very well it can do sharp lines it can do designs and when it comes to the noise i get a number four this is probably one of the quietest trimmers out so that being said that's how i have the saber trimmer it is number three on my list so let's get to the top two and i know y'all been waiting to hear one of them but we got to get to number two so this is how i have the second one on the list and that is the fx1 black trimmer yes this black trimmer this fx1 black trimmer comes with the graphite 2.0 blade it comes with a hanging hook it comes with the hair releasing lid it comes with the fx1 battery it comes with all of that man and this thing performs very well so let's just get down to how i even listed that out when it came to the black fx1 trimmer i have the price at a four i have the power at a five i have the battery life at a four i have the packaging at a three i have the design as a three i have the blade at a four and i have the performance as a five and i have the noise volume at a three so that being said this black fx trimmer it has everything that you need definitely easily could be a toss-up to being number one two or even three in some cases but easily my top two the black fx trimmer is something that i always use on my station so now we got to the number one spot who has made it to the number one spot this year and i will have to tell you i don't know if i even said the name of this company yet in a sense let's give it up and congratulate the first time the gamma plus cyborg trimmer is number one so let's give it up for gamma for giving us this trimmer this amazing trimmer and to be honest i can't even tell you how long i've been waiting to let y'all know what my number one go-to trimmer is this is how i rated that bad boy and we're going to talk about it the cyborg the price is at a four definitely not bad all the things that you get with it the power is at a five the battery battery life is at a four the packaging is at a three the design is at a three the blaze is at a four the performance is at a five and the noise is at a four this thing does everything under the sun and it does not snag it does not irritate it is a very powerful trimmer i love this design i love how it feels ergonomically probably one of the best trimmers out the weight the balance all of that and you can't go wrong the battery life three hours 7500 rpms this thing is a workhorse so 
This is why Gamer Plus Cyborg Trimmer is at the number one spot for the Trimmer Concise Trimmer Awards. Let's give an applause for the Cyborg Trimmer. Congratulations, y'all. This is an amazing trimmer, and I appreciate y'all for even allowing us to use this bad boy. So that's what I have for y'all. I am now going to show you my list and how I rated these myself, but that was just with all the categories and all the points. But now I will show you how I have it sized up and don't get it twisted. The Gamma Cyborg is still number one but this is my list if you guys want to check that out but thank you guys i can't wait to see what you guys think the clipper is of the year for 2023 will be so make sure you guys hit that notification bell make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you on the next video where we talk about the best clipper of 2023 be blessed ctb you know who it is